Thank you all for being here. Uh, I'd like to talk today about something that hits every single one of our states. Uh, whether you're a rural state like mine or whether you're a more urban state like some of the other urban states, everybody has pockets of America that does not have vibrant uh, broadband service. Uh, we are lacking it, and we saw a lot during the COVID, uh, uh, the COVID experience that areas that didn't have broadband fell further and further behind, whether in education, whether in a delivery of health care, uh, whether in uh, the ability for workers to work from home. And so the good news is the FCC has completed their uh, uh, exercise on determining which homes and businesses all across this country have either uh, service or have adequate service. And these maps are really essential because there's a lot of money that's going to be going out here shortly that's going to be going to every single state. And if your state has, like our state did, we had over 120 challenges to the original map, 120,000 challenges that we thought were inaccurate. And in reality, the FCC recognized that 80,000 of those 120,000 were actually unserved or underserved areas, which means that the dollars that are coming out that are targeted for unserved and underserved are going to be going to our states. And this is, a, this is an exceedingly important issue, not just for today, but for tomorrow in every aspect of our lives. Whether you're in Iowa and you're doing uh, agriculture, you need good broadband. Whether you're in uh, South Dakota, in our states like Kentucky and West Virginia, there, are so, there is so much uh, that is left undone and left behind because of this lack of broadband service. So as these maps move forward and as the dollars move forward, it is our job to make sure that the opportunity is not squandered, that the goal of which going to every single business and every single uh, residence is fulfilled, and that this nation in its entirety, no matter where you live or how much you make or what kind of equipment you have, that you have the broadband service that you deserve.